Hi, everybody. Captain Bill Safe the Third. Got my good buddy Rod Haydell in from Louisiana doing some goose hunting with us up here in northern New York. And we got the opportunity to sit down and talk to him about the H2 lineup of duck and goose calls that they've added to their lineup at Haydell Game Calls. What was the impetus, Rod, but, but behind putting this H2 line together? You know, let's face it, Bill. I mean, acrylic calls are the are the going thing nowadays, you know, and mm -hmm. it's something that even though Haydell's has done in the past, we wanted to step out of the box a little bit, rebrand ourselves with the H2 brand, H2 waterfowl brand, and offer the hunters, you know, the, some higher end premium calls out there. One of the things that uh, always struck me, especially when we were filming the program about uh, the original lineup of calls is Regardless of where we went across the United States, everybody would have $150, $200 calls swinging from their lanyard, but tucked in the breast pocket would be a DR-85. Right. And probably more mallards have succumbed to that call in the history of duck hunting than any other call on the market. Um, you want to do something a, a little bit. Let's start maybe with the J-frame call, because that DR-85, made out of butyrite, it's a double reed call. Uh, people are used to what that what that sounds like. That J-frame style call is also something that legions of duck hunters are used to in the United States and North America. You've come out with a really good one. Yeah, we, we've got two different versions of a J-frame call. We've got the little Cajun cutter here. We offer it in a, a multitude of different colors, and we do it both in double and single read. We also offer a full house version uh, that we... We call it a full house, and it's just a wide open call. It's the one that's going to get, get you your maximum volume and whatnot. This is an example of that J-frame call, and this is why we call it such. It's got, it's got, this one has two reeds in it, but it also has a cork slot in here. So you can see how it's formed just like a J laid over. Mm -hmm. And uh, it requires a different way of blowing the call. You have to grunt and... and air into the call to make a sound because if you don't if you just blow straight air <coughs> you just don't get that full support right. now when you grunt into it <coughs> you can hear the difference there yeah absolutely you can hear the difference now like on a dr85 this is a dr85 version that we make out of acrylic and it's got the same running engine as a as your standard DR85. Mm -hmm. It's got a it's got a floating wedge system in here, so it's different. And you can blow straight air into this call and get it to sound somewhat like a duck. Right. Right. And I'm just blowing straight air into the call. Right. But you know, most people you're going to want to blow this call a little bit different rather than attack the note sharply like that. I kind of slide into my notes by saying "vut" into the call, and they hear what that sounds like. I'll turn the call around backwards, but I'm actually going. <laughs> it's not a full grunt, right. but I'm, all I'm wanting to do is buzz those reeds and start that bottom reed vibrating a split second before that top reed kicks in, and you can hear what that sounds like. It's a smooth, relaxed type quack. Right, going to kill a lot of ducks to that. What about the other stuff in the H2 line? You know, we've got several things. We, we're just playing around with a new Canada call. I'm not sure what we're going to call it, but mm -hmm. it's for right now, it's a short read style call. It's got a unique gut si system in it. It's got some worn in guts, and, and you've heard it out there, and you've played with it. I mean, it's got it's got, got everything you need. Yeah, it's got all the dynamics that you're going to need. Um, me and Kelly have been working stringently, and sometimes we're button heads on what what's we consider perfect and what's not. And we're really wanting to strive to create the best possible calls for the waterfowler out there that we can. And we're fighting over a little um, uh, call right now for a speckle belly. Mm -hmm. um, I brought one along with me. Um, the only difference is we're we are uh, in disagreement about an eighth inch length change in the length of the barrel. Good. But either way, it's going to sound it's going to sound great. <laughs> wow, that's I mean, so man. that's our that's yeah. our goose that we have down there in Louisiana. So right, that's, that's kind of where you made your made your name on that deal. And you got a you got a a, a combination a blue wing call. 
Yes, we do. We got a, a, a new call Kelly came out with this year. It's called a, a T2. It's actually got a whistle on the back end mm -hmm. for your uh, uh, green wings. They make a little peeping noise. You can do pintail and mm -hmm. widgeon and mallard drake with it also. But the, the opposite end does the, the hen quacks. Boy, that is perfect. So, yeah. Yeah. And we've got we've got some other things up our sleeve we're coming out with. I think we're going to do a, a standard uh, uh, double reed system like this in a, in a bigger bodied mm -hmm. call, and uh, got a few other things we're we're going to come out with later on in the year. This is the full first full year for H two, so if a sportsman is looking in a catalog or he's looking online in certain certain spots that they've maybe purchased duck calls before and they don't find it what's the easiest way for them to get a hold of you easiest way is just to get a hold of us at uh at, on our website www.haydells.com with a an s and um, it's got everything there you need you can contact me directly on there uh, people know they can contact me through facebook and and whatnot so and i'm usually pretty easy to get a hold of Okay, well, I appreciate it, buddy, and we look forward to seeing these H2s uh, as the year goes on. You bet. I look forward to hunting them, putting them to the test some more.